All right, it is unboxing time. I've got a little bit of a pile going here. I've been saving a few of these things just to kind of open up. It's really tough when you hold on to this stuff and just like you want to open it. You want to tear it open. You're like, no, I want to show you guys too. So I've got some really cool things. All of these are pretty darn new to the market within the past month or so. If you guys are watching this video fresh, some of these, when we get to the bottom of the pile, are like, I think the only review item out in the market for that. So like this is gonna be like pretty like one-off kind of thing. So we're gonna start at the top, work our way bottom. Actually, to be honest with you, short of the bottom box here, I kind of forgot which ones, who came from what. So let's just dive on in. We're gonna just um, bust this thing open and just start cutting here and get into the pile. Let's see, what do we have? Let's get a, there you go. All right, so. First things first. I don't even know what that, does anybody know what that logo is? Do you know? I don't know, let's see. Let's open this thing up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek first. I'm gonna totally peek first. And then we're gonna see what's going on. Well, it's in the back. I'm gonna just stand up. You'll be out of the camera, but that's okay. It's more about what's in here. Still in the bag. Still wondering what we have here. Pretty basic packaging I'm looking at here. Like no manual, is there any manual in here? It's not even a manual in here. Underneath there is the unjamming rod. That's it. Let's see, let's see what we got. So this is the new Aries. This is the Sharps Brothers, right? That's what we're looking at here. This one is upgraded the new, I say upgraded, like the new revision from Aries on this. So they got the Sharps Bro, crazy Spartan face here on the bottom, kind of the way the mag goes in. It's actually kind of neat on that. So it's open, you can kind of see in between here on that, see your fingers through. I'm um, really not incredibly heavy, it's a little lighter than I expected. Aries stock, of course, that was kind of the dead of giveaways. I'm looking around here. Um, it is EMG licensed on this one. So EMG, like very subtle licensing here on the side. Probably came and see it, it's just etched in black. The thing with the Sharps Row stuff, it's Sharps Row, it's, very, 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 very subtle. This is the overthrow is what it is with that, uh, the uh, like I said, the Spartan front in there. Got the high cap in here, full metal rail. This is M-lock. Got kind of like a flash suppress. What do we got on the end here? Is this one of those that you can maybe, okay, no, this is just kind of a blast shield it looks like on the end. Huh, kind of neat. I don't know how that works. I'll have to play with this. We're gonna do a full review on these two, by the way. Just don't think, uh, we're just gonna look at it. This is kind of you and me. This is what I do when I get something new in. I kind of explore. Um, good warning label, made in China sticker. Uh, the, the stock on the back here, it's like it's there, so it's the one that's easy to open with a little latch. I love that, it just kind of pops open. You can get kind of inside and throw your batteries in there. But the big thing on this, first thing I noticed when I picked it up was the grip. Now this is the new Aries Slim Grip. It's actually using a different motor inside. Uh, as soon as you pick it up, you're gonna go, wow, what did they do? It's basically the same width as a standard M4 grip, like a GBBR. If you guys know, if you ever picked up both of those or like even a real AR, um, the grip is fatter on an AEG. Well, this is an AEG. The grip is fatter to accommodate the motor. What Aries has done is they've designed a new uh, motor inside and a new slimline grip that's gonna be the same as like a GBBR, which is going to be the same outer dimensions as a real M4 grip. Now, the way it attaches is different, so the grips are actually different styles, but this one, it's gonna be the same. It's gonna have that same feel. It's not gonna feel fat in your hand. It's gonna feel, if you're used to playing with AEGs, it's gonna feel actually kind of thin. It's gonna feel a little different to you. If you're used to playing GBBRs or actually Actually shooting real uh, M4s, it's gonna feel normal. That's the, this is actually normal. So that's the new big thing on this. Pretty cool. I'm actually excited to see what that's all about. I'm gonna get in there, probably on this one, dive in. Uh, obviously can't do it right now. Dive in and get into um, the actual motor itself because that can be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and close this one up. That's why I said I didn't recognize the logo. That's the Sharps Brothers logo on that one. All right, next up, let's just go ahead and put this one down. Next up. Let's go ahead and flip it upside down, cut it in here, see what we got going on this one. Like I said, I didn't remember what I had in what box and who came from what. A lot of times I get these just as like surprise uh, shipments. This one, I love how everybody like wraps this stuff. It's like Christmas. It's like pre-wrapped. I'm doing this upside down, by the way. So on this one, all right. Definitely better uh, box art on this one. <laughs> All right, 
So this is definitely the bolt here. We're looking at this one. That's what I was thinking on this. Uh, kind of cool packaging. I'm liking what they did. This is uh, from local here. This is uh, Taiwan. So we're looking here, uh, Taiwan made, see bolt.tw. And inside we are looking at some AK action. I have to admit, like you definitely see like there's a definite difference in the packaging. So the unboxing experience on this one is, uh, it's definitely a little different, right? Oh, look at this. Oh, I love this. This is such a cool idea. So check this thing out. They've got a patch with like a hole in it and it's the card, the hanger for the tag. You know, these things always have when they hang on the wall, they got the tag. This is such a great idea. I love this. This is so cool. So like the little rubber band and the tag on it is actually a patch. So you got the back on the Velcro. You can kind of unvelcro it and stick it on. That is pretty cool. I, seriously, kudos to Bolt for doing uh, some really cool packaging there. Also the way it's held in is through Velcro straps. That's kind of neat. So the box, I'd say pretty darn well done on the packaging. Packaging's a, a positive there. This thing is heavy. Wow. Wow, so this is gonna be US uh, model. Usually the ones they get inside of Taiwan don't have the orange tip on them. So this one's probably ready for export, ready to go. Uh, definitely steel AK, got a little bit of the wear and tear on it. Um, wow, wow, actually pretty impressed. Got like a metal hop-up chamber. Usually the AKs are plastic on that. Uh, side rails, this is the, you know, the shorty AK. A little, uh, I know I'm gonna say crank off, this is AKSU. Um, wood front grip here, we're on this one. Uh, let's see what they got inside. Oh, look at that. That is so hard to pull back because that is going to be, wow, that is a monster. Okay, definitely pretty darn cool. That is a beast to pull back. Oh my goodness, the spring on this, because you guys don't know, Bolt is known for their uh, recoil systems. So I really want to get this one, throw a battery on it for sure. And then inside of this little box, let's take a peek. How do you get in? Okay, here we go inside. Again, cool packaging. Like I, you gotta feel good when you get something like this. So we've got, um, looks like a mid cap here. No, it's a high cap actually. So we got a high cap here, got the door on the top, kind of like the fake bake light, kind of uh, the orange. So let's see how this thing locks in. I'm just really curious. Some of these are kind of tight when you get them. Oh, that one goes in good, nice. Grip feels good, smooth, nice wood. And like I said, this thing, I, I dare say this thing weighs more than the thing. So this one's, this one's made more than the uh, Aries I was just looking at there. Wow, that is, everything is really stiff. I'm like trying to press this to get this thing hinged open. There we go. And locked in. Uh, definitely some stiffness on it. Like I said, everything's all nice. No quick change spring on it. That's fine though. I mean, no big deal. This is a pretty good price point actually on this one. So yeah, that's gonna be this one here. Oh, and then the box too, you get the metal flash hider it looks like. So if you wanna swap off the plastic one, of course you live where you can get it. I'm sure if you get this from somewhere in another country where you don't have to have it, it will just come with it already on there. Take that off. That's a cool idea. Seriously cool idea. More, hey, other companies, I always say, you know, I hate to say rip off somebody else's company, but I like the idea of a free patch. It's pretty cool. You know, I'm a patch guy, right? All right, last but not least, let's get in here. Oh, at the bottom, what do we got? This one. Now, when I got this in, I'm thinking like, hey, HK, whatever. I immediately thought it was one specific company that had this, but I looked all over the whole box there's nothing that says who makes this, right? There's nobody on here. So this one's a little confusing to me, right? Um, I get it and I open it up and I'm like, hey, this is the new G3, but it's from WE. So I was like, what? Okay, what's going on here? So I think I got one of the only samples of the WE GBBR G3, okay? So in the box we have, Go ahead and pull all this out of the plastic. I was kind of surprised. Like I said, I, I was really surprised when I opened up the outer packaging in this one. The way it was packaged, I had to open up the outer box um, to get into this. And I was like, wait a minute. Okay, I want to kind of show you guys this one on the, the, the video here. So full metal, polymer words polymer, metal words metal. This is GBBR, so you can lock it back, you know, like the real one. Let it go, safe. You hear the hammer click. Um, on this, like I said, gas goes in here. <laughs> Thank you for changing this. If you guys don't remember, um, WE used to have one that was a little, um, 
how can I say, uh, not really incredibly appropriate. <laughs> it had a little uh, different. Now they got the dragon version here. It looks like an alligator or a dragon. On this is speed loader, by the way, if you're wondering like what the heck this thing is, actually quite well made on the speed loader. Like the quality of the plastics really really well done. Even like the spines in the back where your fingers go. I, I have to say like, honestly, it doesn't match like a Milsim type rifle. Like you don't really have this in it. Also underneath here, what do we got? Uh, a little takedown tool. I'm guessing it looks like for the size of it, probably up here for the barrel nut, maybe. Let's take a peek real quick. Since we got this thing. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. Okay. I heard about this too. So on this one, um, you can kind of adjust the rate of fire. Apparently the rate of fire is a little slower on this, like kind of a, a slower rate of fire. On um, this one, you can change in the spring here in the back. You swap this one in, it's like a longer one, I think. And then it will change it. But I, when you do that, you won't be able to lock it back like this. I think it's short, it's kind of like short, it kind of short strokes it um, on that. So on this one too, I'm gonna take the pin out. We're gonna just explore the front really quick. If I can even get this front off, there we go. Okay, here we go. That is where the tool goes. It's for this nut right here for the barrel, I don't know why. And then, okay, that's your hop up right there. That's what that is. So this is to keep that barrel on, your hop up adjustments actually inside of here is this outer ring piece with like uh, kind of grooves. Um, this is not the hop up adjustment tool and it's kind of on the stiff side. Like I'm really having trouble moving it. You're gonna have to want it, which means that once you get it set, it's not gonna walk. That's good news. Um, everything's that, is that plastic? I think that ring is plastic. Everything else seems metal, except for the grip and the stock and the piece I just took off. All these are pins, takedowns on that. Um, I'll get in again, full review on these things, show you guys. I wanna give you guys a good first look on it. Um, What's confusing though for me, and just to be brutally honest out there about these, is I'm a little confused at what Humorex is doing right now. Because on the market, they actually have two companies making their G3. Um, they have WE and they also have VFC. Both are doing <laughs> the same gun. Like literally the same gun, in the same platform, in the same format. Both of them are GBBR. So I don't, I'll have to get a hold of them. I'll get a hold of a VFC one. This one looks like it's got a last run cutoff. Yeah, so it's got a, a last run cutoff dry fire switch on it too. On that, yeah, it says push down to allow it. So you got a little dry fire option on it. Um, what I don't understand is why they got two vendors to make the exact same product. It's gonna be kind of confusing because I don't think, my guess is, just I could be wrong, but W and VFC stuff's never historically been compatible. Um, I don't think we're gonna be using the same magazines because these things kind of released around the same time. They seem like they're competitive to me. So I'm just curious of why they did it and what they did it for. So just heads up, if you guys are looking, try them both out. Um, I know they're both out there in the market. If you can get them in your, your market areas, I don't know uh, if you can pick up the GBRs in the States, but I know most places you're gonna be able to get them. This did drop. So just make sure if you're gonna pick up one ecosystem, you're gonna be probably, I'll confirm with you guys, if I'm gonna do a full review on this, you're probably gonna be stuck with the, the, the gun. I don't think we're gonna see compatibility. That's usually pretty odd, uh, if I do say it so. But overall, pretty good. You know, got like a serial number here on it and all that. Looks really solid, nice, solid metal. No play, no wobble, no nothing. Got some decent weld points on here. Um, overall, kinda looks like it. The only thing on here is just says license trademark. Nowhere on here would you realize it is WE at all. Pretty interesting. Um, so anyway, that's that on these three. That's kind of what I got going on the unboxing right now. What was your favorite? What'd you guys think? Uh, I'm curious, um, which one of these do you mean to do first? You mean to do the Bolt? You mean to do the the actual, uh, the Aries, the Sharps Bro? Uh, do you mean to do this one? What review do you mean to dive in deep on first and put out for you guys so you get like a full in-depth, you know, good old Airsoftology one? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, is there something new coming out you want me to do a video on, like something else that's fresh and new? Let me also know on that one. So anyway, until next time, go out, play some Airsoft, have some fun, but no matter what you do, call your freaking hits.